Did I get really confused with this episode one, Dangers of a Heart of Season 1? I know there's a, there is another uh, another uh, season. I think there is a season 2. I have to look. Look and see. So this is my very first impressions from episode 1 of Dangers in My Heart of this anime of season, of season 1, episode 1. I personally want to say it here is that I got very kind of confused that because when I was watching when I was watching this anime and I was going I was going okay maybe this is gonna be something good or maybe this is gonna be something that that this was not unusual I would definitely would think or anything or anything like that. Let me talk about the MC MC the MC character <laughs> in this anime. The MC character is really kind of messed up in the brain. Really actually is. I'm not gonna go through the details or anything like that. I don't know what kind of world that he has in his in the has in his mind, and basically what he just basically just saying and stuff like that. This dude is kind of is kind of he's kind of like being kind of like, you know, he doesn't want to exist or something like that, or he really really wants to do things that that he really shouldn't do because I'm not going to say those kind of things because 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 YouTube reasons they will not like me really saying about those kind of things. So I'm going to be careful and well, basically I'm just saying. But the point but the point I'm trying to make here. Is basically is that it's basically is that you normally you don't see you don't see MC characters basically really say these kinds of things just stuff like that like saying like like what are you doing like what are you doing why are you acting so weird what, what what's going on with you and stuff like that he has he has like these thousands of questions like I mean in his mind what he's really is going to do and this, and stuff like that the dude I'm not saying that the dude is creepy or anything like that it's just actually. It's just something I did not expect from any other MC character would just basically just come up with these thoughts and stuff like that, what he's saying and stuff like that. And I want a person want to say this, I want a person want to say this that I think this MC character has been watching way too much Freddy Krueger. That's 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 all I'm just gonna just just gonna say from there on out. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he has some kind of fancy like he what this space to happen or anything like that? Like I said, I wouldn't wish I could say, say some of the things because, like I said, I forgot YouTube because I think YouTube would not like me saying some of those things. But uh, but the reason is I'm not going to say some of those things because it's just something that that the uh, that that the um that, that the MC I don't know he's just he, he has this, some kind of thing that he, that he likes or something like that. It's some kind of dramatic fantasy that he has or something like that. It's hard to explain. And it really actually is. And I want a person want to say is that I'm not too keen on what based with the MC, but the MC can kind of surprise you, surprise you about some of the things that based what he says and stuff like that. But I also uh, want to be reminded is based is that that the MC it seems like he's kind of he seems like he's a very shy character, and I can really can tell that really can tell that really a lot. And one thing one thing that that took me by surprise is basically where he goes into the uh, like you know, like books a million or Barnes books and novels and stuff like that. When he went to the store, he wanted to check out. He wanted to check out the uh, to check out um, like what kind of manga that he really wants to get. But even though I think he saw her walking in, but there's also another thing that really quite surprised me. Also, was also will do with Yanima. I do believe that's her name, Yanima. And basically, what she was doing, she was, I'm, I'm it's. What was she doing? She was uh, she was wearing some uh, wearing some clothes that that she really did not want to be seen. She was wearing sunglasses, then she was like wearing a hat and and stuff. And what she did was kind of something I did not really expect, but I couldn't understand why she really actually did. This. If you look closely at the at the anime at the end where they're going, where the MC goes into the uh, goes into the store, where she where, what she did what what she did was. She took one of these magazines. These are magazines that you normally you'll see. They're kind of like role models or something like that, or models or stuff like that. They do pictures for like, you know, like modeling stuff like that. And you know, like the the new clothes and stuff like that. And you know, and stuff like that. And you see these back and forth and just basically the magazines like we usually see back in our area in the United States and in other different countries for them also well too. Because you gotta remember, models uh, people that do modeling and stuff like that, they get paid really good money. And they really actually do, and, and just to see the way of her Yanima just dressing the way that she really actually is. Like I think she also has like a coat on too. I think I think I'm not so sure. And basically, she's just wearing a hat, wearing sunglasses. That kind of tells me. That kind of tells tells me going like, 
okay, maybe she's an actor or maybe she's something more different. But then I found out she was just a model because when the MC took the MC took the magazine, he bought a manga. Uh, he bought a manga and he also bought a model magazine. And he looks through the magazine and then he sees that he sees Yanama based in the magazine. And it, it took him by surprise, but even though he threw away the manga, he threw nothing away the manga. He threw away the magazine away because it didn't, it didn't really basically enlighten him really all that much. But one thing I definitely want to say here is that don't be fooled by the MC character about some of the things, some of the things that he says and stuff like that. But I do believe the MC character, MC character, basically to me, from what I look from from him, he does have a lot of interest for the for. For the main female protagonist, I definitely do think that really a lot. Now, I want to go back into back into the store, back into the store, magazines or, or books or whatever you want to call it, or books of or Barnes books to know. But uh, when when you see her based after, if you look closely, like I said, if you look closely, she took from one of the magazines and then she placed it on another magazine. I don't know why she really did that for. Her. I don't know why. And then she has like some kind of a marker in her hand. Mark her in the hand, and then she sees other other different uh other different uh things right around her that was signed by an autograph. And I was kinda like wondering like I was kinda like wondering like why did she like looking at those or something like that. Maybe I'm just confused or something that maybe I just don't really understand. Or maybe that she really wants to use the marker to put her autograph in one of the magazines or something like that. One of the magazines or anything like that. But one thing I definitely want to say also as well too. Also, well too. I think she has to be careful because, like, when you walk into, walk into, uh, generous of these stores and generous of these stores, they'll probably get onto you and they'll probably just say, like, what are you doing? Why are you making these marketings, these marketings, in our stuff, in our brand? And and basically, and basically, and basically, you know, usually they'll try to explain. So it's kind of like it's kind of like if you were to see, let's say, let's say you want to see John Travolta, like John Travolta, he he walks into. Uh, a store that that sells VH tapes say, or movies and stuff like that, and and he takes one of them and then he just signs them like that, and and some of the people probably get upset with him, probably say you can't be doing that and stuff like that. But then he reveals himself, say, hey, I'm John Devonta. I just figured I just want to sign these and stuff like that. And then like some of the store people would probably say like, okay, all right, cool, but we can't, you can't let you do that. But stuff like that. But even though John Devonta probably just basically just, I'm not saying he doesn't even really actually care, but it just it just feels to me. That that it's not kind of like kind of like he's reviewing himself or anything like that, but it's basically kind of like it's basically kind of like what he was basically he's really actually is just saying and just based on what he did and stuff like that. If you were to have like Britney Spears or Taylor Swift, whoever it is, or other actors or singers, stuff like that, they probably would have done the same thing. They probably would have done the same thing, but I don't see there's definitely really wrong with basically in that area, basically in that area. I also want to talk about talk about the scene. And this manga also well to the cat scene. Okay, because uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. There was there was a girl and a guy, and you know they they both have a love interest for 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 each other. I'm not gonna go into the details with that. I am not. They they both love each other. They both appreciate each other. So I mean, the dude has his own taste and stuff like that. I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm serious. I really am not. But he has his own taste and stuff like that. So whatever he likes, he likes. That's all. That's all. I'll just say. Right there. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with wrong with that or anything like that. I mean, there's definitely actually yes or anything like that. But the reason I'm, the reason I'm saying that because that's just that's just the type of uh, the type of character that he really actually is and stuff like that. That's basically his his common thing. So that's all I'm just saying. So like I said, I'm not gonna go too further into that. But like I said, for it was just it was just something. And then like you know, like the MC character, he knocked down a book. And one of them said, one of them said, oh, maybe that was a cat or something like that. But how would a cat would be in a library form? And then they like pretend like, you know, Yanma, Yanma knew, knew that the MC character was there. She knew that, that he was there, but she didn't act like, she didn't act like that and say like, oh, I, oh yeah, I, I thought you were right over there or right over there and stuff like that. Because it's just, it's just that she knew, she knew. She's not stupid. She's really not. And she just really actually isn't. But I was really quite surprised based on what she did and stuff like that. Just act like a cat. And then she's like telling them, say, come on, come on, do the cat noise too. Oh my gosh, it was so cringy. It was so cringy and embarrassing too. Also, too, I was calling, oh my God, what is this MC actually just doing? But uh, it, it was it was funny. It really was. But it's just something, something that you just normally you don't see facing any other anime or anything like that. 
But yeah, it was that's it. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. But anyways, uh, that's it for uh for this anime review. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like this anime? Do you guys don't like it? So yeah, anyways, it's on the next episode. I'll see you guys later. Take care. I hope you guys have a day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just so you. I love you guys. Please be safe. Remember, stay blessed. And uh, don't forget, give me a like or give me a thumbs up. It doesn't matter to me. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. I hope you guys have a day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just so you. I love you guys. Please, please be safe. And remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.